What's going on YouTube? It's Ken, I'm back at it with a new video. I know I haven't put out a video for over six months now, but so much has happened since that last video I did of the summer where I showed you all how to restore your Ultra Boost soul. I graduated from college, I got into med school, and now I have a full-time job, which is crazy. It's kind of interesting how all these things kind of happened in that short period of time, but I really wanted to kind of take this opportunity to create a video for myself, something that I can look back on maybe four or eight years down the line when I'm completely out of school and just take the opportunity to reflect where I started from and what that process was like and what was it like to get to the point that I am in the future. So this is kind of for my own documentation. But then also a year ago, I put out this poll asking you all if you were interested in seeing some educational content on the channel. So that would be, what was it like studying for the MCAT, what was it like applying to med school, what was it like interviewing, what are the costs associated with all those things. And I got a really, really good response. So finally, a year later, I'm kind of getting to that. But graduating was super hectic and there was so much work that I had to do that I really had to kind of just focus and shut down most of the things that I've done in terms of extracurriculars and just focus on getting it done. But now I'm back, I have a bit more free time, so hopefully I can create some more content. But recently I interviewed at the Feinberg School of Medicine, which is Northwestern's medical school over in Chicago. And I didn't really have any ideas in mind or any structure. I just took my camera and thought about, let's just see whatever shots I can get and kind of put this together to create something that I can document for myself in the future. So this is it. Hope you guys enjoy this short clip of the interview day. And then after the clip, we're gonna come back and actually talk about what happened during the interview. So see you guys in a bit. So the flight got delayed, I'm probably just gonna do some work, so let's catch up with that. to Chicago. Um, my host let me in. He's kind of studying for an exam. Their exams are on Fridays. So he's doing this thing. I'm trying to be a little bit quiet so he can study. But I'm gonna go out to dinner soon. Um, it's a pretty nice place. Kind of like Manhattan but a lot colder. It's snowing out here and then where I came from it wasn't snowing. It was just raining a little bit. So we got like this really nice view of some skyscrapers and stuff. Trying to go to this dinner that they have scheduled with some other applicants. It's a great opportunity to meet people, uh, see who's around, who's going to be in the school, who's going to be in the class. So, yeah. Just came back from dinner. It was pretty good. Got to meet some of the other applicants that I'll see tomorrow. A uh, really good group, very diverse. I really liked the conversations that we had. Also got to meet some M1s, M2s, and M3s. Uh, they were really insightful in terms of telling us about their experiences, especially one of them is doing uh, MBA right now, which is something that I'm interested in doing. So he was in his third year, so now he's doing the MBA for a year and then going to come back for fourth year. Um, great food also, pretty good. I came back, I'm about to go over some of my application materials, look over my AMCAS application, which is the application of medical school, and then I'm going to read through my secondary, which is a school-specific essay prompt. So I'm just going to refresh on what I wrote a few months ago. I'm probably going to look through the school's website, look at some things that I thought were really interesting about the school, take some notes on my phone uh, just so I can uh, look through them throughout the day and then go to sleep around 10, 30, 11, wake up around 5, and then the interview day starts at 8 a.m. sharp. <music> you all enjoy.
enjoyed those clips of the interview day. Now let's talk about what actually happened. So this is probably my most memorable interview in terms of the first thing that happens when I get there is that I get stuck in the elevator. So it's me, half of the applicants, as well as the event coordinator that day. We all get stuck in this elevator. We were trying to go up to the 10th floor to go to the orientation session. And instead of going up, our elevator goes down and just gets stuck there. So we're there for like 20 minutes. We're not in any danger at all, but the only thing is that it's just getting a little warm in there over time. But nonetheless, a great bonding moment because we got to mingle with each other a little bit and also exchange a lot of jokes. So it's kind of funny in that way. But then when uh, our rescue came and the people pried the door open, we just saw that we were only an inch below ground level. So we were not in any danger at all, but we were just kind of stuck in this like just bad position, I guess. So we missed about maybe 20 minutes of the orientation session. So they kind of had to accommodate for that. But then during my interviews, I always brought that up because that was just like a funny talking point to uh, go into the interview. And um, people were super surprised about that because it never happened before. So I had three interviews, one student interview as well as two faculty. So the student interview was interesting because it was a group interview, which was my first time doing that. And then the two faculty, interview, uh, faculty interviews were just one-on-one. -on -one. But what's interesting about the faculty interviews was the different interview styles. So my first interviewer was very conversational. It was kind of more so not about why do you want to come here? Like why medicine? But more so what do I see my medical degree getting me? Where do I see myself impacting the community that I'm going to be serving? How can I see myself kind of going beyond just being a physician? How can I impact larger scale? So that was great because it got to, it got me to think very critically about my goals and the things that I hope to accomplish in the next few years. But then the next interviewer was different from that in terms of it was more questioning. So tell me about a time when you experienced this. Tell me about a time when this happened and how did you respond to that? So it was really interesting seeing the different interview styles and kind of having to adapt to those interview styles. So that's pretty much about it. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Definitely leave a like and a comment down below, whatever you want, whatever questions you have. Um, definitely going to be making a bit more educational focused videos, more so about like college, uh, MCAT, medical school, but also staying true to the roots and including a lot of fashion content in there. I haven't really been buying any clothes and I don't really plan to do that anymore. So I, I just feel like my interest kind of changed a little bit from being a super consumer to kind of doing a bit more DIY and then now just working with what I have. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Definitely see you next time. It's been Ikenna. See you guys next time. Peace.